Here you are. Would you like some porridge, honey? Ugh, no thanks. How about a cake from the chef? I want none of these. Welcome to a new challenge. Oh, la, la. First, <laughs> I want a gummy bear. Be quick. Jelly? No problem. Pour over, it's easy to cook. I'm gonna need some gelatin. Of course, the more sugar, the better. My granddaughter has such a sweet tooth. Now I'll use different food colors. Yellow, green, and red. These are her favorite ones. Yeah! I'll pour the future jelly into these cute forms. Hmm, it's so beautiful. That's it. All I need is to wait till it gets gelled. Oh, I got distracted. I need to start. Oh, there's a recipe on the back of the gelatin. Looks pretty simple. I'll add some apple juice for the taste. It's my favorite one. Wow! Oh, the amateurs. There's no one to compete with. It's clear that nothing compares to my cooking. My gummy bear will be like a picture. I even have the right form for it. Ideal. All I need is to cool it. The thickness is great. Yeah. Let's put it on the plate and it's ready. My jelly looks pale. What if I add some color too? Hmm. Actually, it looks more like a flatbread. What to do? Hmm? Oh, Lola, you still have a lot to learn. Take this form and cut a bear. Thanks, Granny. This is exactly what I need. With a simple hand movement, my flatbread turns into a cute gummy bear. Stacy, we're ready. Let's see what you cooked. Such nice little gummy bears and very tasty ones. What's next? Oh, looks strange. Ugh, it's so sour. Hmm. Wow, what a huge bear. Mmm, so delicious. Chef, you're the best. Now I want... Oh, some hot chocolate! Okay. Great idea, Stacy. It seems that <laughs> cooking hot chocolate is as easy as ABC. Chocolate drops are already in the glass. <laughs> All I need is to add some boiling water. Smells cool! Oh my! It's high time I start cooking my drink. There's no such thing as hot chocolate without some fresh milk. I need to heat it a little bit. Now I'll put some pieces of milk chocolate and blend it properly. It's ready. I'll pour it into a glass. So cool. There must be some whipped cream here. I can't wait to try it. I'll take a little sip. Here they are! Where's my drink? Lola, is it you? How come? Woo! I'll teach you to take my drinks! Oh, these family fights! I've got other things to do! Oh, my chocolate's already melted! I'll cook not just a simple hot chocolate! But super cool chocolate bombs with marshmallows! I'll shake it a little bit to spread the chocolate evenly in the form. And I'll put it in the fridge. A couple of minutes and my delicious chocolate bombs are ready. Stacy will only need to add some milk. Looks nice. I'm sure she'll love it. 
learn from the best. Why is there so little chocolate in this glass? Mm -hmm. It's strange. I don't want to try it. Wow, what is it? Chocolate bombs? So cool! What do they taste like, I wonder? Mmm, it's so cool! Yes! And the last, but not the least, drink from my granny. I like it, granny! You're the winner! Hmm, I know, I want donuts! <laughs> That's easy. I'm an expert in donuts. I can cook them with my eyes closed. Lola, help Granny. I'll start with the paste. I know all the proportions by heart, so it won't be difficult to mix the ingredients. What? For all these difficulties, one needs to cook with ease. I have a special oven for it. Let's add some oil. Pour the paste. And in a couple of minutes, my donuts will be ready. While they're fried, I'll prepare the coating. I'll make it from white chocolate. So all I need is to melt the pieces of chocolate in the microwave oven. My donuts are ready. Wow, they're still hot. Now, I'll spread the melted chocolate on top. The final touch is edible gold. This is my original recipe for delicious donuts. Looks cool. And I don't know how to cook donuts. I have an idea. These ring-shaped rolls look just like donuts. I only need to decorate them. Adding some Nutella is always a good idea. The more, the better. <laughs> cool! There must be some topping here. Here it is! Oh, I've spilled a little! It's so cool! Granny's almost ready, too! <laughs> I have an idea. Let's see how Granny will fry the donut in the water. Great idea, Lola! It must be ready! Oh! What's up with my donut? It's still raw! Maybe some topping will improve it! Hmm. Something's wrong with this donut! This is just a piece of raw paste! No, it's no good at all! What's next? These donuts look better! Why is it so hard? Disaster! I hope Chef won't disappoint me! Yes! That's exactly what I wanted! You're welcome! Now I want scrambled eggs! Good choice! Where's the oil? I found it! My granddaughter loves scrambled <laughs> eggs! It's her favorite breakfast! And I know her favorite recipe! She's gonna love this little heart. Simple oh. scrambled eggs are so boring. I'll use my signature recipe. Wow. <laughs> Indeed, Granny. You'd better use your imagination, too. The bacon's already on the frying pan. While it's being fried, I'll cut some green parsley. My dish is almost ready. Look, all of you. I can turn it in the air. <laughs> oh, I failed! All my attempts in vain! I'm lucky to have a plan B! Stacy's gonna love a jelly scramble with jelly bacon! Yes! My scrambled eggs are ready! Smells wonderful! But my dish will be a true delicacy! Stacy's gonna like it! It's time to try it! I'll start with Granny's. She's sure to know what I love. Delicious! It looks nice, too! 
The chef's dish is also a success. Mmm, I love it! Lola, what do you have? Wow! A jelly scramble! This is our winner! Yeah! Hmm. What? And finally, cook a hot dog for me. Hmm. Okay. Come on, I'm waiting! Hmm. Hot dog is a good idea, but it is still junk food. I happen to have a healthy hot dog recipe. I'll take salad leaves as rolls and a carrot instead of a sausage. Hey! Who's throwing carrot peelings at me? <laughs> Granny's idea is cool. I'm gonna make an unusual hot dog, too. I'll put some spaghetti in the sausage and boil it. Looks like a hedgehog. Just like a real one. The sausage with spaghetti is ready. I only need to make a hot dog from it. My tower is pretty ready. You see, Chef's not the only one to boast his signature recipes. <laughs> Here they are. I've been searching for sauces okay. in the whole kitchen. So the sausage is fried. It's time to make a hot dog. There's no hot dog without some mustard. And for a brighter taste, yeah. I'll add some fried onions. And some pickles. Great! My hot dog is ready. I'll also add a few onions. And it's ready. A strange hot dog. Finally! Hmm. Lola's hot dog looks pretty unusual. But I like it. Delicious! Wow! So much filling in it! This is the best hot dog I've ever tried! What is it? Ugh! A carrot? No thanks! Chef wins! First of all, I want a croissant! Uh. Croissants sound tasty, but how do I cook it? Grandpa and Chef have already made a paste! It's high time I start cooking, too! What's the word for? Ah! Flour and eggs! To mix it all! Ugh! It's so sticky! I need a plan B! Exactly! Seems like the phone is calling! Hello? Say no more! Everything will be ready very soon! My croissant is already baked! I'll coat it with some delicious sugar syrup and add a little bit of topping to decorate it! <laughs> Grandpa, don't make me jump! My iPhone fell right into the paste! Oh no! Oh, teens and their problems! When I was your age, there was no iPhones at all! Okay, my croissant with raisins is almost ready! Hey, look! My yummy croissant is baked! All I need is to add some filling! Berry cream cheese will be the best option! I'll hide the cut with chocolate chips! And that's it! Here's my croissant! Thank you so much! It's so beautiful! It smells wonderful! My timer says that the croissant is ready! Ouch! It's so hot! I'll decorate it with some sugar powder and it can be served! Achoo! Oh, it tickles my nose! Achoo! Oh no, my croissant! It looks like a flatbread now! <laughs> I'll show you how to cheat! <laughs> Roxy, we're ready! Well, let's have a look! What happened to it? It's crumpled. But tastes pretty good. The next is from Grandpa. A bit worse than Lola's, but generally it's good. What's next? Mmm, wow, delicious! There were no doubts. Mmm, I know. I want some chips. Oh, that's easy. If I'm not mistaken, I need potatoes. 
Do I need a knife to peel it? No thanks. It's a digital age, finally. I've got an electric vegetable peeler. Delicious! Wow, look at her! All about these potatoes. It's too boring. I'll make chips from corn tortillas. Or simply nachos. Original and tasty. Corn triangles are ready. All I need is to cook them. I'll use this frying pan. Grandpa, mind your dish. Oh, 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 I don't care. Since what time is it banned to look at your nachos? My chips are too thick. Uh, I don't mind. I'll read a book while they're being cooked. How can I cut potatoes then? Idea. I'm gonna need a vegetable shredder. Let's put the future chips on the frying pan. And let's add some spices. <laughs> My yummy nachos are almost ready. A little bit of spice. But something's still missing. Exactly. Cheese sauce. Ready. Cheese and nachos are a perfect combination. My chips are also ready. What's that smell? Grandpa, it's burning! Holy lord, my chips! Oh no, I've spoiled them. Roxy, we're ready. Uh, what's that? I'm not gonna eat coals. As for these triangles, I'll try them with great pleasure. Could have been better. What about Lola's? Wow, delicious! Now it's time for a bagel! What is it? Chef, help! Okay, look carefully. Let's cut a roll into two pieces and make toast. Now the filling, I'll have a bagel with bacon. I got it! It's like a sandwich of an unusual form. I'll make a bagel with my favorite vegetables right from my garden. The most healthy foods. Onions, tomatoes, and an avocado. My granddaughter loves it. She says it's very popular now. Now let's cut the roll, just like the chef showed, and put all the ingredients inside. Indeed, my granddaughter has given us a difficult task. They always find something in the net, and then make me cook for them. As for me, a scramble will be an ideal filling. Ready. I hope my granddaughter will appreciate it. The rolls got brown. It's high time to combine everything. Let's put some fried bacon and a couple of cheese slices inside. The final touch, a piece of edible gold. This roll looks like a donut. Why not make a sweet bagel? I'll take some delicious Nutella for a filling and cut my bagel carefully. Now, let's take some white chocolate. Roxy likes it very much. I put the pieces on top and voila! My sweet bagel is ready. I'm dying to try them all. Grandpa's bagel looks strange. But there's an avocado inside. I don't like it. Chef, what do you have? Bacon and cheese are a cool combination. Delicious. Lola's bagel is the most original. Okay, I'll give it a try. Mm, very tasty. Lola, you win. Now I'm thirsty. Make me some juice. Hey, the younger first. I'll choose the ingredients first. I'll pick it at random. Look what I made up. <laughs> she picked pepper. Come on, cook. I'm definitely out of luck. Indeed. Oh, have you ordered juice? I'll make her favorite orange juice. 
cooking using only one ingredient? Too easy! I'll make a fruit smoothie for Roxy. I wonder what pepper juice will taste like. Maybe it won't be that bad. I need to try it first. I won't make it with my bare hands. I'm lucky to have a cool juicer. With the help of it, I'll quickly make my drink. It's pretty difficult. I need strong hands. Ugh, it's ready. It smells rather strange, though. The juice in the glass. Even if it's not so tasty, I can still serve it originally. Our tastes differ. There's nothing more useful than my hand, Squeezer. A bit of effort. And my juice is ready. Let's take a glass and pour it carefully. Mmm, delicious! Let's put a straw and it's ready. My fruits are mashed evenly. So my drink is also ready. I'll add some sugar powder. Ideal. Roxy, try it. Wow, they're so different. I'll start with a red one. How disgusting, it's just awful. Looks strange. No, I don't like it. It's too thick. Grandpa, I hope at least you won't disappoint me. Yes, exactly what I wanted. Grandpa wins. <laughs> Got it. I want a corn dog. What is it? What? How can we cook it? Mm. A good question. Ah, I got it. <laughs> we can do it. Okay. Great. Start. I don't want to hesitate starting to cook. That sausage is so slimy that it literally is jumping out of my hands. That's it. Now it won't run away. Oh, no. Sorry. Nick, would you be so kind not to waste food? Gran, don't bother me. I'm going to fry the sausage right now. I need a gas stove for it. This is how it's gonna get brown, easily and quickly. That's it. Oh, it seems that I've overdone it a little bit. That's not a problem. I'll hide it with the sauces. I'll pour more. Smells quite tasty. Finished. Wow, look at you, Nick. It's time for me to start cooking. For a corn dog, I'm gonna need some flour. To crack a couple of eggs. And mix everything with a whisk. That's rather difficult. But I'm ready for everything for the sake of a delicious dish. Here's the dough. It's time to dip the sausage in it. I need more dough so that the corn dog becomes tastier. Looks nice. But I still need to fry it. Okay. <laughs> the pan with some oil in it has already warmed. I'll put the sausage there for a couple of sets. That's it. Oh, I've nearly forgotten about the sauce. Ketchup is never too much. Ta-da! No. Who's cooking like that? Now I'll show you a master class. Watch me and learn. Cheese always improves the dish. I'm cutting the sausage into small pieces. And stick a skewer through them in turns with cheese. You won't find this corn dog anywhere else. This is my signature dish. Now I'll make a coating and put it in the pan to fry. You see how you should cook? <laughs> Nearly done. <gasps> awesome! <laughs> Some mustard and ketchup will complement it perfectly. Cool! Mmm, manifique. Come on! How's it going? What? Are you ready? They are all so different. This isn't a corn dog rather than a simple sausage with ketchup. Or to put it better, ketchup with sausage. Ugh. On top of all this, it's burnt. That's not what I wanted. This one looks better. I wonder how it tastes. Not bad. Unlike the first one, but could still be better. What do we have here? This is so yummy. Wow, there's even some cheese here. This corn dog is the one I like the most. Well done, chef. Very delicious. This is not what I want. This is what 
what I need? Yummy. Scrambled eggs, that's easy. Okay. A weird choice. <laughs> no problem, honey. Come on! I'll start if you don't mind. For a good scramble, it's critical to choose high-quality eggs. These are quite good, I guess. I've got a well-tried recipe. First, I need to separate the whites from the yolks. Now the most exciting part. I'm putting all the ingredients in the pan so that I get a funny face. There's something else left. I'll add some spices to get a brighter taste. Great, right? Wow. Not bad, but no scramble compares with Granny's. I even can do it without a pan or eggs to make it. Uh, what? Why are you staring at me? You've been thinking that Granny doesn't know any extraordinary recipes. Uh, you were wrong. I'm gonna need an avocado and a quail egg. I'm cracking the egg into the pit hole. I'm baking it in the oven. It's important to set the right temperature so that the scramble is ideal. It smells wonderful. Mmm. Wow, I didn't know you could do such things. That's not all. We need to add a pinch of herbs. And don't forget about the salt. Ready. Annie's gonna love it. Respect. Oh, I nearly forgot about my own dish. What can I do? If Granny's okay. thrown all the eggs away, I'm gonna get the new ones. Thanks, Hen. Now I'm ready to cook. I'll take my mug. I'll mix all the ingredients in it to make a rich scramble. And here's one more time. I'll need my favorite gas stove. Don't panic. This time I'm gonna be very careful. My scramble in the mug's ready. It smells good, by the way. Annie, we're ready. Try it. <laughs> Let's see what you've made me this time. Wow, is this a scramble in an avocado? Really original and tasty. Granny, that's so cool. What do we have next? A scramble in a mug. I can't do without a spoon here. Okay, wow, can't believe it. I expected worse from you, Nick, but you've really tried hard. What has our chef made? Wow, what a nice face. Such a funny scramble. What does it taste like? Mmm, just gorgeous. Mm. Everything's so tasty that I don't really know what to choose. Anyway, the chef's dish is the funniest. I'll pick it. <laughs> wow, make a cocktail for me. If you wish so. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Okay. <laughs> Be quick, I'm waiting. The blender's mine. <laughs> first come, first served. That's unfair. Okay, I'm angry now. Look out, berries. I'll do without any blender. I'll squeeze you till nothing's left. Nick, what's up? The walls are shaking because of you. That's it. I did it. Now I have fresh berry juice. To be precise, fresh beaten out berry juice. Smells good. Mmm, so sweet. Well, these kids surprise me sometimes. I'm gonna make orange fresh for granddaughter. Uh, uh, something's gone wrong. Granny, you've overestimated yourself. So that's what you're up to? We'll see about that. I'm old, but still strong. Look at my biceps. I used to be an athlete when I was young, so I can easily deal with a couple of oranges. Done. I've made it tasty. And what's more important, right. healthy orange fresh. Wow. Who cares? I'm gonna make a real cocktail. That's easy with a blender. All I need is to put the fruits into it and press the button. <laughs> she's showing off once again. The machine's doing everything for her, and she's happy. Yes, Granny. This is called modern technologies. A couple of seconds and a tasty cocktail is ready. All I need is to decorate it. Great! Awesome! Oh, I've made up something. Hey, Lola, look. Is that a bird over there? I'll put a secret ingredient in her cocktail. That's gonna be fun. Granny, don't betray me. Oh, I don't know. It must have flown away. Annie, we're ready. Woo! Wow, all the cocktails are so nice. Whoa. I'll start with the most beautiful. Hmm, taste orange. Uh -huh. Is this chili pepper? Oh, my face is burning. 
She's blowing fire out of her mouth. Cool. Well, it's over, but I'm definitely not going to choose this cocktail. What's next? Okay. What are all these berries here for? Strange. Ugh, that's so sour. Disaster. Granny, everything depends on you now. Let's try. Wow, really tasty. We have a winner. Hooray. There were no doubts. I'm the winner. Oops. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Oh La La channel. Not to miss new funny videos.